Good afternoon, dear students. Today we have practical lesson number 16 – Genetic structure of population, genetic polymorphism and hereditary diversity. Key questions of the topic are shown on this slide. Population is an aggregate of organisms of the same species living for a long time in one territory, occupying a certain area, and partially or completely isolated from individuals of other similar groups. The population is characterized by a certain organization, which calls structure. The structure of the population is the distribution of individuals over the territory, the ratio of group, groups by uh, sex, age, morphological, physiological, behavioral and genetic characteristics. The population structure is not stable. The direction of its further changes largely depends on the structure of the population in a given period of time. The following popula population structures are distinguished on uh, sexual structure, age structure, spatial structure, ethological structure, genetic structure and ecological structure. Gender structure or sex composition is the ratio of males and females in a population. Sexual structure is characteristic only of populations of dioecious organisms. The numerical ratio of the sexes, uh, that means uh, the sex composition, and especially the proportion of breeding females in the population is of great importance for the further growth of its numbers. People distinguish. Primary sex ratio, uh, it is the ratio observed during the formation of sex cells or gametes. Usually it is 1 to 1. Secondary sex ratio, the ratio observed at birth. For example, in a person, boys predominate in the secondary ratio. 106 boys are born per 100 girls. Tertiary sex ratio, the ratio of adult sexually mature individuals. For example, in humans, women predominate in the tertiary ratio by the age of 16 or from 16 to 18, due to increased male mortality, this ratio le levels off and by the age of 50 it is 85 men per 100 women and by the age of 80, 50 men per 100 women. The sex ratio depends primarily on the biology of the species and varies greatly. In monogamous organisms, a male mates with one female per season, a sex ratio is um, 1 to 1 is an, it's, and it's the norm. For example, cranes, swans. Uh, among monogamous animals, there are almost always reserved males. There, uh, these are already sexually mature but not yet breeding animals. They represent the reproductive reserve of the population. In polygamous animals, the prevalence of females is typical, for example, fur seals and baboons. The age structure of a population is the ratio in the composition of a population of individuals of different ages, representing one or different offspring of one or several generations. In relation to the population, three ecological ages are usually distinguished – pre-reproductive, individuals not yet able to reproduce, and here we also have some um, some points. Newborns until the moment of maturation, young individuals, growing up individuals who haven't reached sexual maturity, and semi-mature. Uh, these are individuals close to puberty. Also reproductive, age individuals capable of breeding, and post-reproductive individuals that are no longer able to reproduce, they, they often play a significant role in the life of populations, protecting and raising young animals. The age structure in many species is very complex. So, in plant populations, four age phases are distinguished. Latent per period, the phase of primary rest. This group includes seeds, fruits and other plant rudiments. Virginal, virgin or youthful period covering a group of plants in the period from germination of primordia to the formation of generative organs. Generative period, the phase of reproduction by seeds or other spe uh, spreadable primordia, um, that's to say, time of sexual reproduction. And senile or anil peri period, to which individuals who have completed sexual reproduction and are only able to vegetate belong. At each age stage, plant individuals are characterized by a certain relationship with their environment. The absolute age composition expresses the number of certain age groups at a certain point in time.
The relative age composition expresses the proportion of or percent, percentage of individuals of a given age group in relation to the total population. The age composition is determined by a number of properties and characteristics of the species. The time to reach sexual maturity, life expectancy, duration of the breeding period, mortality, and other. Age differences in the population significantly increase its ecological heterogeneity and therefore resistance to the environment. The age structure of populations is adaptive. The analysis of the age structure helps to predict the size of the population over the course of the life of a number of next generations. At each age, the requirements of individuals to the environment and resistance to individual factors differ markedly. Long-lived and multiplying species um, develop a relatively stable population structure with long-term existence of different generations. In species with a short period of, ad of adulthood, a significant part of the population changes annually. The age structure of population is highly vol volatile characteristic. The special structure of a population is the nature of the placement and distribution of individual members of the population and their groupings in the area. It depends on the characteristics of the environment and ethology or behavior of the species. The spatial structure of populations um, differs markedly in sedentary and nomadic or migratory animals. The space occupied by a population provides it with a livelihood. Each territory can only feed a certain number of individuals. Most often, members of the population are unevenly distributed in space. The total area occupied by the population is divided into separate individual or group areas, thereby achieving an orderly use of food reserves, natural shelters, breeding grounds, and other. Despite the territorial isolation of the members of the population, communication is maintained between them using a system of various signals and direct contacts at the borders of uh, possession, possessions. There are three main types of distribution of individuals in space. Uniform or regular distribution, uh, characterized by an equal distance of each individual from all neighboring ones. E uneven. Uh, aggregated group or mosaic distribution manifests itself in the formation of groups of individuals between which there are large unpopulated territories. Typical for populations living in conditions of uneven distribution um, of environmental factors or consisting of individuals leading a group lifestyle and random dif or diffuse distribution expressed in unequal distance between individuals. It is the result of probabilistic processes, heterogeneity of the environment and weak social ties between individuals. According to the type of use of space, all mobile animals are sedentary, and here we have diff diffuse type of placement. Animals in space are distributed uh, dispersedly, for example, deserts or steppes. Uh, mosaic type of placement uh, occurs when places suitable for settlement are distributed sharply unevenly in space. The end the pulsating type of placement is characteristic of populations with sharp fluctuations in numbers. And also cyclical type of placement, typical for sedentary animals alternately using different sites throughout the year. For example, lemons winter on dry coastal hills, and in summer they move to Forbes zero religion areas. Also, um, uh, animals could be nomadic. The cyclic type of territory development by sedentary animals is similar to the use of resources by nomadic populations. Nomad 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 nomadism excuse me, is most noticeable in those mammals whose lifestyle requires vast spaces, for example, elephants, bears, and goats, and uh, other animals. A sedentary lifestyle has a number of biological advantages, such as free orientation in familiar territory when looking for food or shelter, the ability to create food reserves, for example, squirrels and field mice. Uh, this image is fraught with the threat of a rapid depletion of resources <clears throat> with an ex uh, excessively high population density, therefore sedentary animals have developed adaptations that provide delineation of the habitats of individual uh, or other interpopulation groups.
According to the form of coexistence of animals, there are a solitary lifestyle, uh, for example, hedgehogs and pikes, family lifestyle, lifestyle uh, for example, lions, bears, colonies, loons, bees, ants, and, and other animals. In packs, uh, for example, wolves, herrings, in herds, uh, it's about deers, zebras, and other animals also. And in a harem is a small stable group of breeding polygamous animals, grey seal, fur seal, and sperm whale. Ethological structure of populations. A solitary lifestyle in which individuals of a population are independent and is isolated from each other is characteristic of many species but only at certain stages of the life cycle. The family lifestyle also strengthens the bonds between parents and their offsprings. The simplest type of such connection is the care of one of the parents about the lead eggs, uh, clutch protection, incubation, addition aeration, and other stages. In the family lifestyle, the ter territorial behavior of animals is most pronounced, various signals, markings, ritual forms of threat and direct aggression ensure the ownership of a plot sufficient for feeding offspring. Life in a group through the nervous and hormonal systems is reflected in the course of many physiological processes in the animal's body. The genetic structure of a population is determined by the variability and diversity of genotypes, the frequencies of variation of individual genes, uh, which cause alleles, as well as the division of the population into groups of genetically close individuals, between which there is a constant exchange of alleles during crossing. The set of genes of all individuals in a population is called a gene pool. The gene pool is characterized by the frequencies of alleles and genotypes. A low frequency is its share in the entire set of alleles of a given gene. The sum of the frequencies of all alleles is equal to 1, p plus q is equal to 1, where p is the proportion of the, of the dominant allele, uh, q is the proportion of the recessive allele, um, and uh, according to the Hardy-Weinberg law, the relative frequencies of alleles in a population remain unchanged from generation to generation. Um, a long-term and directional change in the genetic composition of a population, its uh, gene pool, is called an elementary evolutionary phenomenon. An evolutionary process is impossible without the change in the population's gene pool. And last one structure is the ecological structure of a population, and it's uh, the division of any population into groups of individuals that interact in different ways with environmental factors. Food groupings are easily identified since individuals of different sex and age have different food prefer prefer um, preferences. Different members of the population differ for, from each other in orienting behavior and in motor activity. In many animals, the differences in responses to hazard avoidance or optimization search are well pronounced. For all populations, phenological differentiation is apparently also characteristic. Different dates of the beginning and end of seasonal cycles of development and behavior, depots, hibernation, sexual activity, mold, flowering, fruiting, uh, leaf fall, and other. Um, Hardy Weinberg's law and his value for its value for studying um, of genetic structure of population. There is a pattern in the distribution of genes and genotypes within the gene pool, which was formulated in 1908 by two scientists simultaneously, the English math mathematician uh, Hardy and the German physician Weinberg, and was called the hardy weinberg law. This law is fully valid only for ideal populations, that is to say, populations that meet the following requirements. Uh, first of all, infinitely large number. Uh, secondly, uh, free crossing or panmixia occurs within the population. Third, there are no mutations for this gene. Uh, fourth, there is no inflow and outflow of genes. And the last one, uh, it's about there is no selection for the analyzed attribute. The attribute is neutral. Most natural populations are close to ideal, so this law is applied. How divine the law has math mathematical and verbal expressions and uh, in two formulations. The frequency of occurrence of genes of one allelic pair in a population remains constant from generation to generation. P plus Q 
is equal to 1. Uh, P is the frequency of occurrence of the dominant allele. Q is the frequency of occurrence of the recessive allele. The frequencies of occurrence of genotypes in one allelic pair in the population remain constant from generation to generation and their distribution corresponds to the decomposition uh, coefficients uh, of the Newton binomial of the second degree. Uh, this formula, this formula, this, this one, uh, this formula uh, should be deduced using genetic reasoning. Let us assume that in the gene pool of population, the dominant allele occurs with frequency p and the recessive allele a with a frequency q. Then, in the same population, female and male gametes will carry allele uh, a big, big a. Um, with frequency p and allele a small with frequency q. The practical significance of the hardy weinberg law uh, lies in the fact that it allows one to calculate the genetic composition of a population at the moment and to reveal to the tendency of its change in the future. The application of this law in practice has shown that populations differ from each other in the frequency of occurrence of genes. So, according to the genes of the blood group in the ABO system, the differences between the Russians and the British were as follows. Um, Russians uh, 25 uh, plus 0 uh, for A. Uh, 19 by 0 for B and 56 uh, past uh, 0 for um, 0 or first group of blood. Uh, British were a little bit um, more. The factors causing changes in genetic structure of populations. The following uh, factors influence the genetic structure of a population. Selection, mutational process, crossbreeding, related mating, gene drift, migration of individuals. Selection. When selecting, the number of individuals increases according to those characteristics for which the selection is carried out and changes in the structure of the population are spent on those characteristics for which the selection is conducted. Distinguish between natural and artificial selection. Uh, natural selection spans all aspects of the organism's life, uh, leads to change in the entire structure of the population, individuals survive or die. Basically, this form of selection is observed among wild animals. With artificial selection, the genetic structure of the population changes according to the characteristics for which the selection is carried out. Thus, natural selection acts more broadly and dramatically alters the structure of the population. Artificial selection is already acting and changes the structure of the population only according to a certain characteristics, for example, milk yield, um, percent of fat, li uh, leaf weight, and other characteristics. Uh, doesn't change in such grounds as constitution, exterior, and technological characteristics. The selection ef efficiency is greatly influenced by the external environment. The formation of any trait is carried out under the influence of the environment and hereditary factors. Um, the external environment determines the direction of selection and adaptation of organisms. By the nature of the action, four types of selection are distinguished. Uh, stabilizing, driving or directional, disruptive or tearing, and divergent. Uh, stabilizing selection eliminates individuals with extreme levels of a variable trait from a population. That is, individuals with high and lowest trait values are eliminated from the population. Individuals with average values of the trait are preserved. In livestock, livestock, oh, excuse me, breeding, this is a selection according to the shape of the other, bath shaped, bow shaped, round, goat, primitive and other types of constitution. Under natural conditions, the selection of reindeer is small and weak. Large ones cannot provide themselves with food. With moving directional selection, there is an, an, an increase in the number of individuals with an increased level of development of the trait in comparison with the average data of uh, parental forms.
This type of selection is widely used in animal husbandry practice to increase the productivity and uh, reproductive functions of agriculture crops, uh, animals, and the consolidation of uh, valuable hereditary qualities. This is a progressive type of selection. It uh, enhances the genetic variability of traits, contributes to the adaptation of organisms to environmental conditions, and increases the genetic potential of the population. The studies carried out that um, and have shown uh, a moment may come when the optimum of selection and its uh, limit will be reached and the process of selection of a trait stops. The selection limit is a purely theoretical assumption, however, it should be noted that there is no selection limit, since there is a mutational process in the population that increases genetic variability and prevents the selection limit from approaching. Mutation process. Any population undergoes a mutational process as a result of which more and more hereditary changes are introduced into its gene pool. Despite the fact that the frequency of spontaneous mutation of one gene is very low, but any organism contains a large number of genes, the appearance of various mutations is quite large. It should be noted that different genes have different mutability. Some mutations with a high frequency, others are characterized by reduced mutability. Uh, a mutational process, natural or artificial, enhances the variability of individuals in population, and the effect of mutations of an organism can be neutral, harmful, or benefic beneficial. Uh, therefore, the significance and role of mutations in the population is different. Recessive mutations are significantly common in natural populations. In a homozygous state, they most often lead to the death of their host organisms. And in heterozygous uh, state, they serve as a reserve of latent hereditary var variability. In populations of agriculture animals, there is also a large stock of hidden mutations. Many of them are useful and are used in breeding. Uh, when breeding them by selection, the desired mutant forms are selected, which are fixed and spre spread by subsequent breeding work. The presence and spread of hidden recessive mutations in, in the population is called a genetic burden. Genetic cargo has a twofold meaning. On the one hand, it is a source of genetic variability, and on the other hand, it impairs the adaptability of the population as a result of the appearance of individuals with lethal, semi-lethal, sublethal effects of mutant genes or alleles. Um, Crossbreeding. Crossbreeding is used to improve existing breeds and create or breed uh, new groups and uh, breeds in general. When crossing, uh, the genetic material itself doesn't change, but its recombination occurs, new traits are formed that are preserved by humans in the process of selection. When crossed, the resulting offspring increases heterozygosity, which leads to a change in the genetic structure of the population. Crossbreeding can be interspecific when animals of different species mate and get hybrids, or it is also called hybridization. Uh, for example, donkey and mule mare, or donkey and hinny stallion. Um, hybrid hybridization is widely used in cattle breeding, for example, cattle and zebu. High fat and protein content, good meat quality, slaughter yield, uh, yield reaches up to 60%, but most importantly, the resulting hybrids, zebu-like cattle, are fertile and are not afraid of the bites of blood-sucking parasites, which is very important for areas with hot climates. There are the following types of crossing – absorbent, industrial, variable, introductory of or infusion of blood, and reproductive or factory. It should be noted that with various types of crossing, the phenomenon of heterosis is observed in the offspring, that is to say, first-generation hybrids. Um, the genetic structure of a population is determined not only by mutation and selection, but also by the phenomenon of random gene drift. Gene drift is understood as a change in gene frequencies in a population as a result of the action of random factors. It is observed in uh, isolated populations where the number of individuals is less than 500 of its members. 
Gene drift is also called a genetic automatic process. In small populations, crossing of heterozygous genotypes leads to a more rapid emergence of homozygous genotypes and the accumulation of homozygous genotypes for un unfavorable traits occurs in the population and they are eliminated regardless of selection. Migration of individuals. Migration of individuals is understood as the transition of genotypes from one population to another, while the frequency of genes in the population rapidly changes or new genes appear. A population may be subject to the pressure of migration of individuals, as a result of which the boundaries between populations are flattened and the genetic diversity of individuals increases. The speed of the migration process is directly proportional to the number of migrating individuals. Mutational process and its value in formation of heterogeneity of populations. The mutation process is a constantly acting elementary evolutionary factor that ex exerts pressure on populations. The mutational process leads to a change in the population of the frequency of one allele in relation to another. Although the pressure of the mutation process is usually low for each individual gene in the presence of a large number of genes in the body. It has a noticeable effect um, on the genetic structure of the popula population in combination with gen genetic combinatorics. The mutational process and its result, the occurrence of mutations, is of a probabilistic and statistical nature. The evolutionary value of the mutation process maintains a high heterogeneity of natural populations, participates uh, in the creation of various alleles and the emergence of new genes, creates the entire spectrum of variability of a given gene pool, the totality of all really possible mutations of a given population. <clears throat> This genetic combinatorial study rep uh, repeatedly studies the meaning of mutations. They enter new genomes, find themselves in a different genotypic environment. The potential number of such combinations of available genetic material in any population is um, unimaginably large, but only a tiny fraction of this theoretically possible number of options is realized. Uh, the actually realized part of the combination determines that almost any individual is genetically unique. Mutations should occur with a certain sufficient frequency in all living organisms, causing changes leading to a new level. They are found in different concentrations. Some of them should enter the historical arena of evolution, participating in the formation of new taxon taxon taxons. Mutations arise in leaps and bounds discreetly without transitions. Once the mutation appears, it is stable and is passed on to uh, de descendants. Mutations uh, arise in, in an uh, undirected manner. Uh, the same mutation <clears throat> uh, the same mutation can be repeated many times, supplying rich material for the evolutionary process. Therefore, they are considered as elementary evolutionary material. Isolation, types of isola uh, isolation and its biological value. In organisms that reproduce sexually, a species is a collection of interconnected populations. As long as individuals of different populations within a species um, at least occasionally, uh, can interbreed with each other and give fertile offspring, that is, as long as there is a flow of genes from one population to another, the species remains as uh, an integral system. However, if there are any obstacles between individual populations of gro or groups of populations that impede the exchange of genes or isolation, this will lead to the dismemberment of the species. Isolated groups of populations, separate populations or isolated parts of the same population can evolve independently, uh, which ultimately can lead to the emergence of new species. Being in somewhat different environmental conditions and experiencing the influence of constantly acting elementary evolutionary factors, isolated populations will more and more differ in their gene pools. Thus, its isolation is a permanent limitation on, of panmixia, uh, that is to say, restriction of free crossing. There are two main types of population isolation, geographic and biological. Geographic isolation was associated with various changes in the landscape, uh, the emergence of mountain ranges, water barriers, forests, and other. 
It also plays a significant role in the dispersal of living organisms, dividing population into groups and disrupting the flow of genes between isolated parts. Such isolation has a particularly strong effect on sedentary species, plants, some species of animals, for example snails, and other. Um, Geographic isolation is also found in mobile species, for example in birds, including migrator ones, since the reproductive period of their life occurs in the same places, for example storks and swallows. Geographic isolation can also take place in cases where the species occupies a fairly extensive area individu and individuals of, or of different populations, due to the large distance between them, cannot meet and interbreed. For example, as a result of active shooting by humans, the area of Sabo is torn into two parts, remote at a considerable distance from one another. Geographic isolation is essential in spe uh, speciation. Biological isolation or reproductive isolation is determined by all sorts of differences between individuals within a species, preventing interbreeding. Uh, there are three main forms of biological isolation – ecological, morphophysiological, and genetic. Environmental isolation is observed when potential mating par partners do not meet. This may be in cases where individuals of the same population have different habitats within the same territory, for example biotopic isolation, or when sexual maturation in potential mating par par partners doesn't occur simultaneously, seasonal isolation. More physiological isolation is due to the peculiarities of the structure and functioning of the reproductive organs, when it is not the probability of encounters that changes, as in ecological isolation, but the probability of crossing. Crossbreeding is hindered by the size of individuals, the discrepancy in the structure of the copulatory apparatus, the death of germ cells and uh, other factors. Genetic isolation occurs when mating pairs have significant genetic differences, for example, in the number and structure of chromosomes as a result of which the viability of zygotes and embryos decreases and sterile offspring are formed. There are several forms of biological isolation. Ethological isolation, which is based on differences in behavior, for example, differences in the nuances of male's courtship of females or sinning. Grey crows, for example, of the Crimean and North Ukrainian populations differ in mating song. Ecological isolation occurs when individuals of the same species prefer different habitats within the range due, to, for example, to differences in food composition. So, on the territory of Moldova, for example, there are two immiscible populations of mice, the yellow-throated wood mouse and the steppe mouse. The factor of that separation is the composition of the food. After separation from the population of yellow-throated wood mice, steppe mice, acquired a number of phenotypic features. They are smaller and have, in comparison with wood mice, a different shape of the skull. Long-term ecological isolation contributes to the divergence of populations up to the formation of new species. Seasonal or temporary isolation is caused, for example, by different time periods of reproduction. Seasonal races, differing in terms of spawning, are described in salmon, sturgeon and uh, other animals. Morphological um, isolation, genetic isolation, which may be based on incompatibility of germ cells, uh, and other types of isolations. Population waves. Now, population waves or waves of life, according to Chitverokov, these are fluctuations in the number of individuals in natural populations. They are characteristic of all types of animals, plants, and microorganisms. Population waves can be seasonal or periodic, genetically determined, and non seasonal. Aperiodic, caused by the impact on the population directly of various biotic and abiot uh, abiotic factors. Thus, an increase in food resources, vegetation leads to an increase in the number of rodents, for example lemons, which in turn after some time leads to an increase in the number of predators, for example foxes, polar foxes and other different animals. The later leads to the extermination of prey or rodents and a decrease in food resources for predators and ultimately to a decrease in the number of predators.
In the 19th and 20th centuries, individual outbreaks and the number of organisms were noted in the populations of rabbits in Australia, house sparrows in North America, locusts in the Asia-African region. After a cold winter, the number of rabbits on one of the islands off the coast of England decreased 100 times, from 10,000 to 100,000 of individuals. Uh, sorry, to 100, to 100, from 10,000 uh, to 100 individuals. Therefore, life waves are dangerous for the survival of small populations. The evolutionary significance of population waves is reduced to random changes in the concentration and frequency of various alleles and genotypes contained in the population. A change in the population gene pool occurs, first of all, on the rise of the population wave, uh, increasing interpopulation migrations or the merger of previously separated populations with a sharp increase uh, in their number lead to a change in the population gene pool. Uh, secondly, on the crest or peak of the population wave uh, with the highest population size. Uh, with an increase in competition, individuals may move out of the range of the species, where they experience new uh, or atypical conditions that can significantly affect the frequency of certain alleles. Third, third one is on the decline of the population wave, with a decrease in the number. Rare, small alleles can be lost by the species, or conversely, if a, if a rare allele is accidentally preserved, its concentration of frequency in the gene pool of small population inevitable, inevitably increases. Drift of genes, features of gene pools of isolates. In small populations, hardy vinegar slow doesn't apply. There is a gene drift phenomenon. Gene drift is a change in the frequency of alleles in the population due to random causes, not due to the action of natural selection. Significance of gene drift, it leads to a change in the frequency of alleles in the gene pool of a population. Alleles can be removed or fixed in the gene pool, regardless of whether they have adaptive value or not. It significantly affects the gene pool of small populations. Thus, gene drift is more pronounced in small populations in order to understand why one should know the features of the gene pools of small populations. For dims and isolates, a relatively low natural population growth is typical, respectively, about 20 to 25% per generation. The frequency of intergroup marriages in them is 90% or more, and in the inflow of persons from other groups remains at the level of 1% or less. In this regard, there is a high degree of closely related marriages which contributes to an increase in the number of homozygotes suffering from abnormalities. Features of the gene pools of small populations. Low growth, the smaller the sample, uh, the greater the dropout rate, small influx of genes from other populations reduces genetic diversity, a high degree of closely related marriages increases the number of sick homozygotes, gene drift leads to a smoothing of variability within a group and the appearance of random uh, non-selection differences between isolates. Gene drift is understood as a random change in the frequency of occurrence of genes of one allelic pair in population. Gene drift can lead a population to a homozygous state. It plays a very important role in the formation of the gene pool of small populations. The system of marriages and their role in distribution of alleles in human populations. Factors affecting the genetic structure of a population, system of marriages, medic genetic aspects of marriages, elementary evolutionary factors, mutations, migration, isolation, gene drift, waves of life, natural selection. Uh, all these factors cause elementary evolutionary phenomena, a change in the gene pool. Types of marriages there are by action of, on the occurrence of alleles, non-assortative marriages, man maintaining the balance of genes, free marriage of heterosexual members of the population, rare, assortative marriages, change the genetic balance, frequencies of alleles of genotypes, negative assortative marriages, phenotypically dissimilar individuals enter into marriage, increase the genetic diversity of the population and the, via uh, the viability of the individual, positive assortative marriages, phenotypically similar individuals marry, the frequency of occurrence of homozygotes increases, the likelihood of development homozygous diseases increases.
By degree of relationship or outbreeding, unrelated individuals marry this is good for the population. In breeding, closely related marriages, incest is a marriage of first degree relatives, prohibited from the first stages of civilization development except for the ancient Incas and Egyptians. If the spouses are not relatives and in the third generation, then the risk of having a sick child doesn't exceed the general population. The biological consequences of different marriage systems, on average in the population, the risk of having a child with hereditary or congenital diseases is from 5 to 5.5 percent. Half of spontaneous abortions are due to genetic causes. Early infant mortality, 30%, associated with congenital malformations and hereditary pathology. Each person has at least three to five recessive alleles, which in homozygous state lead to death before the onset of reproductive age. <laughs> Today in humans, about 50% of zygotes uh, are not biologically biologically consistent, that is, they don't, do not provide the transfer of hereditary material to the next generation. Natural Selection – Specifics of Action of Natural Selection in Human Populations In the populations of sexually reproducing organisms, there is a wide variety of genotypes and therefore phenotypes. Due to individual variability in a specific environment, the fitness of different genotypes of phenotypes is different. The differences between organisms in fitness assessed by the transmission of alleles to the next generation are revealed in nature using natural selection. The main result of selection is not just the survival of more viable uh, individuals, but the relative contribution of such individuals to the gene pool of the daughter population. A necessary uh, prerequisite for selection is the struggle for existence, competition for food, living space, mate and partner. Natural selection occurs at all stages of ontogenesis of organisms and ultimately provides differential or selective reproduction of genotypes. Thanks to natural selection, due to natural selection, alleles or traits that increase survival and reproductive ability accumulate over a number of generations, changing the genetic composition of populations in a biologically expedient direction. In natural conditions, natural selection is carried out exclusively by phenotype. The selection of genotypes occurs a second time through the selection of phenotypes that reflect the genetic constitution of organisms. Natural selection acts as an elementary evolutionary factor in populations. A population is a field of action, Individual, uh, individuals are objects of action, and specific characteristics are points of application of selection. The efficiency of selection in terms of qualitative and quantitative changes in the population's gene pool depends on the magnitude of pressure and the direction of its action. The disruptive form of selection breaks the population according to a certain characteristic into several groups. It maintains a state of genetic polymorphism in the population. Depending on the form, selection reduces the scale of variability, creates a new or preserves the old picture of diversity. Uh, in evolution, natural selection plays a creative role. Excluding genotypes with low adaptive value from reproduction while maintaining favorable gene combinations of different values, it transforms the picture of genotypic variability, which is formed initially under the influence of random factors in a biologically expedient direction. The result of the creative role of selection is the process of organic evolution, proceeding as a whole along the line of progressive complication of the morphophysiological organization and, in some branches, along the path of specialization. Selection against uh, heterozygous. Negative selection, in turn, can be directed against heterozygous, against homozygous. Uh, zygotes. In some cases, the fitness of heterozygotes may be lower than the fitness of homozygotes. This pattern is observed in uh, interspecific and intraspecific hybrids, although the single locus model is not applicable here. Low fitness of heterozygotes is also observed in the presence of trans translocations uh, on one of the chromosomes and the normal paired chromosome. Such heterozygous for chromosomal translocations often form unbalanced gametes with reduced viability, which reduces the fitness of heterozygous as compared to homozygous. The heterozygous disadvantage model can be useful for controlling pest populations. An example of negative selection directed against heterozygous is the inheritance of the Rh factor. 
This factor is controlled by three dominant closely linked genes. They can be conventionally taken as one. When a man with an RH positive factor is married and a woman with an RH negative factor, uh, it is more often possible to conceive a RH positive fetus. Fetal antigens during gestation in small quantities can enter the mother's bloodstream through the placenta and cause the formation of antibodies, especially if there is a pathology in the child's place. During the first pregnancy, sometimes during the second, their concentration in the blood is relatively low, and the embryo develops without experience, experiencing the harmful effects of these antibodies. Selection against homozygotes. In many cases, only partial selection against homozygotes occurs. Therefore, the relative fitness of homozygotes in comparison with other genotypes decreases only partially. In many human genetic diseases, such as albinism or sickle cell anemia, uh, homozygotes for the recessive allele can survive and produce offspring, although less likely than healthy individuals. Drosophila, mice, corn, and other genetically studied organisms have many recessive mutations that reduce fitness but do not lead to death. Selection and counter selection. Counter selection, positive selection directed against negative selection, maintaining homozygotes and heterozygotes. The gene pool of human populations is the result of the superposition of numerous and multidirectional vectors of selection, which ensures the preservation in each generation of gene types that are relatively adapted to these conditions. At the same time, over time, the influence of selection of the genetic structure of human populations decreases mainly due to the success of therapeutic and preventive of medicine, as well as socio-economic transformation of civilization. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.